Tracy Bingham here at Universal Studios Hollywood, and this is E's one-hour special theme park to go-go. Our next destination has always been known as an amusement park for adults, but these days even kids are getting in on the action in Las Vegas. For the last 50 years, Las Vegas has been a desert oasis of nightlife and gambling for adults only. But these days, hotel execs are singing a different tune and are transforming Vegas into a wonderland of entertainment for the whole family. I'm trying to change the opinion of people who in the past have not come to Las Vegas because they don't think of themselves as gamblers. I'm trying, and all of us are trying, to make Las Vegas an exciting and fun-filled destination vacation period for everybody. And that it is, with new hotels, theme parks, elaborate stage shows, and water parks, the city of Las Vegas has become an amusement park in itself. Go gamble a little bit, but you're not really going there for the gambling anymore. You're going there to see the shows, to go in the restaurants, to walk up and down the strip and see people. It's like a continuous party. It's not reality when you're in Las Vegas. It's a true escape. Even older hotels, like Caesars Palace, which are known for their swanky casinos, are jumping on board to construct new over-the-top attractions for all ages. Recently created at Caesars is the Magical Empire, a uniquely themed dining experience that you would only find in Las Vegas. Guests are greeted in the catacombs, guided to one of ten dining chambers, and entertained with dancing, fire, and magical wizardry. Caesars can also be credited for devising the ultimate in shopping malls with the development of the Forum Shops. It is a shopping center, but it's unlike anything anyone's seen in the world. It's really a themed experience that takes you away from the real world. Shoppers are whisked back in time to the streets of ancient Rome. Storefront facades resemble Roman buildings. In the middle of the mall, ornate fountains and classic statues come to life every hour. The statues in the festival fountains look and, and seem just like marble when you look at them. And on the hour, something magical happens. They come alive in a laser show uh, with music and narration and dancing waters. Grand images, lavish costumes, and music bring the magic alive in colorful productions for the entire family. And even the infamous showgirls are learning family values. Right now we're starting to care more toward family. Um, children are allowed to come see the fathers and it's uh, done in very good taste. It's uh, very energetic and uh, we find that children really like the show. And uh, there's a lot of feathers and a lot of glitz and usually kids get real into it. And uh, they're pretty much most of our best audiences out there. One of Vegas' newest shows is MGM's Effects, a high-tech odyssey through time and space. Effects takes audiences on a journey to rediscover the power of imagination with an elaborate combination of music, drama, technology, and eye-popping special effects. The star of Effects, David Cassidy, best known for his role on The Partridge Family, took us on a tour of MGM's other main attraction, MGM Grand Adventures. There's a lot to see here, and we're going to go on some rides. So why don't you come along with me as we take this little tour? Do I have insurance, by the way? Yes. Okay. Let's rock. David Cassidy, man of danger. So, here we are at the Sky Screamer. You know, that's about 6,000 feet up there, and uh, doing what I do in effects here at the MGM Grand Theater, this is nothing for me. <laughs> you can see this is just a little cakewalk. Sky Screamer, the world's tallest sky coaster, could best be compared to a huge swing set. Flyers release themselves into a 100-foot free-fall plunge before swooping into a 70-mile-per-hour swing. The description of what I can give you is uh, awesome. We knew that we needed a white knuckle kind of ride. Uh, coasters have become 
pretty normalized. You're, you're up to the first time, you're just like so scared that it, that you can't even think. And I had to pull the rip That has got to be the biggest rush of my life. I couldn't scream. It took my breath away. Stop. Skyscreamer. No flyers beyond this point. <laughs> well, I guess that takes me out. <laughs> Much as I'd love to do this, you know. Really gotta go. Ah, the old paddle boats. Yeah, wonderful family fun. <laughs> and a little bit more my speed. Next, it was on to the big slide. You know, I do this every night at the Vex. So, of course, this is a piece of cake. And now, for this really big slide. Boy! For an even bigger adventure, why not try one of Vegas's newest and highest attractions, the Stratosphere, the tallest freestanding building in the world. At the top of the Stratosphere, visitors will find High Roller, a coaster that begins 909 feet in the air, and Big Shot, a free fall ride that drops from a starting point over 1,000 feet high and reaches speeds of up to 45 miles per hour. That was heavenly. It's great. And when that sizzling Vegas sun becomes unbearable, thrill seekers can head inside to Grand Slam Canyon, a five-acre enclosed theme park. Kept at a comfortable 72 degrees, you can enjoy sunny skies, lush gardens, and thrilling rides without the hot desert sun. So no matter what age you are, the new Las Vegas has something for everyone. Still ahead, we'll check out what's on tap for the theme parks of tomorrow.